Okay, let's talk about n queens. So the n queen puzzle is the problem of placing n queens on the n by n chessboard, such that no two queens attack each other. Each other. So you are given integer n, and uh, you have to re return a value for the board that is satisfied for every single queen, which is four queens on the board. So no queen can attack each other. So what should you do? You should create an n by n board. And by using that, we have to use a depth search to uh, place a queen on every single cell. And if the queen is not valid, uh, I have to delete. I have to re uh, I have to change the queen to the dot, which which is the empty board, right? So if a queen is valid, then we can just keep going. And later on, we have to generate the n by n board to the list of string. So if you understand it, they just code it. It will be easier to code if you understand the code. So I have a board new char and I create n by n. So for every single cell, I have to uh, give a default value, which is uh, board ij equal to dot so that's my default value and also i, I want to uh, return a return to a list of string construct a board from chart to d to the list of string so i'm gonna say list of string path equal to new array list for in i equal to zero i less than chest length plus plus so pass the add so i can take every every cells for this single row to the string right so i would just return pad so this is what i what, what i would do for generate 2d to 2d to list of string now what what i should do for this um I'm going to use a depth search to traverse. Okay, so before that, I need to create a list of lists, which is my answer equal to new array list. Then this is my return value, right? So I need to have a depth search, which is answer. And what else? I need a ball, right? What else? I need a uh, integer zero which is cons consider my rule a uh, rule value so private void defer search list of list string and i will say answer and what else chess chart to d and row right so i'm since i'm placing every single queen rule by rule so I don't have to know uh, there's a conflict on on single row because I only place one queen on each row. So for this example, I'm placing a queen right over here. Then I will on the next follow. I will just uh, starting from the next following row. I'm not I'm not doing the same column. So same column on the same row. So if I place a row over here, so I would just place another queen on the second row so not the first row so i have a column so column will become zero column less than chest dot length and column plus plus so before we add to the board right we need to check if the board is valid so this will turn out to the validation so what would do what what would I do for the value? I need to take the chess, chess board and then row and column, right? So let's just call it, put it right here. So this should be a boolean. Boolean. Valid char char double ray in row in column. So I don't have to check for single row. Every single row. I, I can check the column. Are they on the same column, same column or not? And also the diagonal, right? 
top right and top left. So here's the ideas for in a equal to zero i less than chest dot length i plus plus. And if chest colon equal to queen, we return false. So we will place we will place bull and column to queen. So this is the idea. So I just check for every single rule on the column. And what else? Top right. And top top left. Okay. So what is for loop? For loop I need a in i equal to rule minus one. So it's thinking about if you're right over here, if you want to go top right, you need to subtract the row and increment the column, right? And i is greater or equal to zero and j less than chest of length. i plus plus, oh sorry, i minus minus j plus plus. So same idea, if chest at i and j equal to queen, you return false. So let's do the top left. Same idea, minus one. J equal to column minus one this time. I equal to equal to zero. And J equal to equal to zero. And I minus minus, J minus minus. Same idea if chess, I J equal to queen, return false. And at the end for the function, I return true. So this is the whole solution, I mean whole function for the valid. And this is the construct ball, right? So I need to call the depth research once I'm once I'm ready. I'm gonna say chess and rule, rule plus one. So I'm when I place a rule, when I place a queen on this rule, I'm going to place another queen on the second rule. On the following rule, right? So if if the ball is not valid, I have to change back to dot, which is my initial value. So how do I know when the ball is valid? So if the ball, if the ch if the row equal to chest dot length, which is the size of the chest, and before we add, we need to uh, use the function construct ball for the chest. To the array, right? And we we'll just return. That will be the entire solution. And think about it. And let's just run it first. Okay, I do have an error. So we just type out chess. Okay, it's, it's passed. And then think about it, my solution. Okay, so overall, it's pretty, it's pretty good. And for the time and space complexity. Okay, I do have no idea. This is beyond my knowledge. And if you know the answer, please comment below. And let me just go over the function first. So I have a soft earn queens. I'm create a, create, create a chessboard. A default value, which is dot. And I'm using a depth search to, uh, to go over my uh, chessboard. So I'm uh, placing every single queen. On, on each cells, but for each cells, for every row, I can only place one queen. So every row, I can only place one queen. If the queen is, is placed on this row, I will jump to the next row. So when I ch check the when I check the ball on the valid function, I I just have to check the column. I don't have to check for row. So row is changing, but column is not changing because I know. I don't have two queens on the same rule. So this is how I check. So I have top left, uh, top right and top left uh, check function. And if the board is not valid, I would just uh, place a dot for the single, uh, for this rule and column cells. And if the board is valid, I would generate a list of string from 2D array to this of string and I will just return 
and that will be the entire solution, which is pretty hard. And let me know if you have questions. Peace out.